A live broadcast can capture unusual content that was never intended to the be the main focus of the show. I encourage you to take a look at these strange happenings caught live and try to help me make sense of them. Maybe together we can find coherent answers for these puzzling videos. Number 13. When this vehicle was pulled over by police, the driver decided to back into a patrol car and then take off. Now a helicopter is covering this live. The police eventually corner the vehicle and rush towards the driver, and that's when things take a turn for the unexpected. That was the last recorded moments before the helicopter slammed into another helicopter from a different news station. We don't know what has just happened right there. It looks like the police have closed in on him. We don't know uh, what exactly has transpired between the police. Stay with ABC 15, 15 News. We will bring you more information as we get... An official investigation notes that the two pilots failed to see each other, but exactly how remains a mystery. They too were close enough that at least one of them should have seen or heard the other well before this happened. Even an air conditioning repairman saw what was happening from the ground and kept shouting at them to go lower. Number 12. On January 3, 2007, an Australian television station began rebroadcasting the same sound clip over and over again. The words, Jesus Christ help us all, plays on a loop for almost 10 minutes straight, and people have been arguing whether it's a technical malfunction or a prophecy ever since. Number 11. A number 10. A number 9. This strange October sighting in Siberia was broadcast live from a Facebook stream. If someone can translate what is being said here, then please leave a comment so we can all know. <laughs> What appears to be a giant swirling portal opens up across the crisp night sky. It mesmerizes the crowd for a bit and then gradually fades away. The official government explanation for this is residual rocket fuel left over from a Russian missile test, but citizens aren't so sure. Some of them think it could be anything from black holes to extraterrestrial technology. I don't have the scientific background to fully understand Russia's rocket theory, but I do know that I have never seen this light pattern caused by any other missile launches before. If someone knows more about how this strange light pattern can be caused by a rocket test, then I'd definitely like to hear more about it. Otherwise, it could be a cover-up story. Number 8. Andy Milanakis used to have a comedy show on MTV years ago, but now he mostly livestreams. He's actually 41 years old and has a genetic condition that causes him to look like a child, and this often causes some odd interactions with the public. Like when a homeless stranger comes up and does this, for example. You, 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 don't, you don't take tobacco, right? I don't take tobacco. I, I can't. Like, hey, I like your gear. Thanks. I okay, my name is William Bowes, mm -hmm. okay? I've been arrested for the last seven days, okay? Either in jail or the psych hospital. He says that he wants to live with Andy and starts hitting on him pretty relentlessly. He says that he is going to make Andy rich within five months and keeps trying to get him to turn off his live stream. Eventually William and Andy wander across a group of other homeless people and William gets in an argument with them. They shout something back and forth about a tea party, which sounds like it might be code talk for something else, and then Andy decides to break away from the group for his safety and calmly walks away. Exactly what their tea party conversation was about and what William intended to do with Andy that night is unclear. Number 7. A Russian news reporter is standing in a field when all of the sudden her story is interrupted by something far more unnerving. <laughs> A shimmering orb of intense white light appears out of nowhere and briefly hangs in the background. The dumbfounded news crew stares at the orb in disbelief until it silently fades away, seamlessly blending into the sky. Everything from ghosts, angels, extraterrestrials, and computer effects have been proposed, but I'll leave it up to you to decide what it truly is. Number 6. A YouTuber named Chris Wells says that he was watching television at home when this robotic message suddenly interrupted an otherwise normal day. All broadcast stations and cable systems shall transmit this emergency action notification message. 
This is not a test. The North American Aerospace Defense Command has detected the launch of several hundred Russian missiles. These missiles are believed to be carrying nuclear warheads. This is an attack warning. Repeat, this is an attack warning. The warning goes on to give Chris some basic survival instructions and tells him to find a fallout shelter or else go into his basement for protection. At first the message says that the missiles are coming from China, and then later it says they are from Russia, so that part doesn't make much sense and makes me think this might be a hoax. Obviously nothing happened on that day, but that doesn't necessarily mean that this message is fake. It could have been a prank, or maybe the government's missile defense systems really did detect something on that day and sent an automatic broadcast to civilians in response. This video was supposedly recorded on September 22nd of 2017, so if you saw the same broadcast in your area, then please leave a comment so I know this was real. Number 5. I'm not sure what country this show is from, but this man appears to somehow be able to control his heartbeat with his mind. While hooked up to medical equipment to measure his vital signs, he begins to lull himself into a deep meditative trance. He keeps lowering his heartbeat until finally this happens. Dot dot. He remains motionless for a full 30 seconds until he restarts his heart with a gasp. I guess this could just be a planned stunt for live television, but I have heard of monks and other spiritual practitioners who are able to do the same thing. Let me know if you think this broadcast is real or fake. Number 4. There's a patch of swampland just west of Baton Rouge, Louisiana that wildlife officials have been watching for quite some time. Then, one day on live TV, the moment they've been fearing finally happens. Going down. Watch this. Literally sucked under as the ground below them collapsed. Oh the my video Lord. shows the entire area suddenly swirling and the water churning as the trees are gobbled up. Wow. A giant sinkhole opens under the earth and swallows a cluster of trees whole, and it's only just the beginning. This sinkhole, which first formed sometime in 2012 after an abandoned salt mine collapsed, has since become a serious problem. The last report I could find from 2016 said the sinkhole has grown to 36 acres and is about 750 feet deep. There is absolutely no way for workers to fill in this sinkhole and wildlife officials have no idea how big it will grow to be. It's forced hundreds of people to relocate from their homes with little signs of slowing down anytime soon. Number 3. A YouTuber named Game Gandhi is live streaming a geocaching session, which is where you use GPS coordinates to locate a box that's been left by other people. You're supposed to leave something behind for the next person to find, but Game Gandhi and his friend don't even get that far. Instead of finding a geocache, they walk down a long trail only find a mysterious spot that's full of junk and trinkets. However, something else is hidden in the background that takes a moment for them to spot. Ooh, couch? The two of them see a person laying in the debris. Game Gandhi gasps and turns around to get out of there fast. Nobody knows what they are doing back there, or if they were even alive. For all they know, the two friends could have stumbled across a lifeless body under the hot sun. Number 2. Imagine watching your favorite afternoon TV show and hearing this emergency broadcast suddenly cut in. Civil authorities in your area have reported that the bodies of the dead are rising from their graves and attacking their living. Follow the messages on screen that will be updated as information becomes available. That's exactly what happened to residents in Montana in 2013. The announcer went on to warn civilians not to come in contact with the bodies as they are not safe. The television station later said that their broadcast system had been somehow hacked, though some believe that this is a cover-up story and a real incident happened. Before we get to number one, I'd really appreciate it if you followed me and feel free to send me a DM if you have a questions or suggestions. If you'd like to see more of these videos in the future, then hit that subscribe button because I upload a new video every day. Number one, a news helicopter is flying over Brooklyn when suddenly it loses control and begins spinning wildly in the air. Amazingly, one of the crew emerges from the wreckage a short while later, dazed but still alive. The other three crew members are pulled out of the helicopter's broken remains and taken for treatment. Though it might not look like it, everyone mysteriously survived with only minor damage. Thanks for checking out this video.
Be sure to subscribe because I upload a new video every day. Or if you're still not convinced, here are some of my other videos that I think you'd like. Enjoy.